Um, you know you see some drag queens and their brows are like basically in the hairline and you're like, are you surprised constantly? Is it a drag <laughs> character? Okay, bring your wig cap down a little bit. Maybe if, if you're worried about forehead space, I know you've got the real estate that doesn't mean you need to build the house there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Girl, girl, that's not a house, that's an estate. Yeah. <laughs> that's a granny flat. That's a granny flat. And that's honey. the porta potty up there. Yeah. Got the whole YMCA up in this bitch. <laughs> no, that's what I call community service. <laughs> So I call on a Saturday night out of the corner. I pick up rubbish on the side of the highway. Oh, right, of course. Technically, it is mandated by the court, but um, you know what? Right, I, so I do the same thing to me, except instead of rubbish, it's dick. New service. Paid by the court. Yeah, paid by the court. Yeah. I am paid by the government yeah. to hook. Yeah. And by that, I mean, I'm actually that really large hook people put on stage to pull bad performers off. That's actually how we met. Um, yeah, because I was, I was the performer, right? Yeah. Mm. I'm, Shocking. Back in Much the like day. my performance style. <laughs> Shocking. Yeah. You called it. I don't have a phone. I can't call anybody. Oh. I only signal people by smoke signals. That's it. And by that I mean I just go around and set fire to the neighborhood houses. Hi! Hi! <laughs> oh, there she will be right. <laughs> and I'm the partially dead. <laughs> and welcome to... Don't Drag Reacts to RuPaul's Drag Race UK vs. The World Season 2 Episode 7 The Haters, Haters Wedding, Wedding Rose. Rose We're getting a roast But there's so many layers to this I guess Haters and Rose kind of Haters and Rose is basically the same thing and then a wedding Do you reckon they're gonna dress up as like the bride? It sounds like they have to bring wedding dresses Unless they're like the people roasting the person who's getting married. Oh, so like they're the it's gonna be like maids. it's gonna be like the maid of honor speech. Mm -hmm. That's what it's gonna be. Okay, I'm with you. I see you. Not I that I know you. what that is, because I've never been honored in my life or honorable for that matter. That's probably why I haven't been honored or invited anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for coming and joining us again. Yes, we are back, and we're here to keep reacting to stuff that you want to see, which is us watching this. No, we're reacting to ourselves. Oh, okay. We're, we're gonna watch the episode and react to it, and then react to ourselves reacting to it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna spend yeah. the whole time like this. Last week, we had the Strictly Come Ballroom Dancing. That's right, it was Strictly Come Prancing. Strictly Come Prancing, Dancing, mm. and Marilyn Manson up in this bitch. Because <laughs> it was a slaughter on that stage. It, it was, and, and Mariah Balenciaga. <laughs> just killed everyone. And in saying that, we literally just mean, she did well. Yeah. <laughs> the other girls do it. That's a hard challenge to do. Yeah. Because dancing is one skill. Yeah. Ballroom dancing is an entire another skill altogether because you have to factor in a completely different body, mm -hmm. which is a lot. However, in saying that, having exclusive dance challenges works for the girls who are dancers. Because usually when they do like the rusical or something or the girl group number, they're like singing live, they're dancing, they're playing a character, they're adding comedic beats. The Strictly Come Prancing is just like, we're just focusing on the dance. Yeah, do the dance and sell the dance. There's less like, uh, uh, marks you need to hit. Less criteria, but that also makes it harder because you can't make up for your lack of dancing with a good mm. character or with funny lines. Very much you're getting critiqued for this one thing. Yeah. And that is it. And you know what? Marina did great. She did! And that's about it. The girl who got eliminated was Teresa May. It was Teresa. Surprisingly enough, the Spanish girl gets sent home on the Latin dance challenge. Yeah, that feels like a hate crime. <laughs> a part of me is like the producers picked this challenge so they could keep the other UK girl who hasn't had as good as a trajectory as the girl that's there. However, oh, yeah. it didn't play in their favor. Nope. If there's one thing I'm loving watching in this season, it's La Grande Dame and Tia Coffee mac on with each other every three seconds. If we're gonna watch a gay show, maybe we'll put gay in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hello, gay. Speaking. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marvin Gay himself. Marvin Gay. I am milk. Yeah. <laughs> Harvey Milk. <laughs> That's a different person entirely. I know. <laughs> it's Aaron, let's jump into it. Gay rats now. Exterminator? I don't even know it. I am still here. <laughs> yes, I you am, are. I am still here. Let's see how much longer. 
That lasts. She's gone, and I'm sad. There's only one UK girl left. Yeah. That's it? Cutting down to the wire. I mean, the rest of them just underperformed. Yeah, well, I mean, they're from the UK, so. Yeah, according to Charlie Hyde, none of them know how to uh, actually lip sync. It's a pretty easy decision, but a hard one to swallow. Ooh. Thank you for choosing. Good Swallow. <coughs> Better in than out, that's what I always say. Thank you for spilling. <laughs> Mama, thank you. Kudos Mama, for that. Kudos for spilling. Is this you? She's gonna wipe it up. Smells like hell too. <laughs> Scarlet just be like. I think that's. Always how Scarlet looks like. <laughs> and she does always kind of look like she's smelling someone's fart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> On top of your three lip sync wins slash challenge wins slash badges. She's got three now. Yeah. She's leading the competition. She's winning this season. Facts. Facts. Our facts. America. Well, UK Jeez. and also the world. Yes. Oh. <gasps> oh, come on. I thought that she said she's gonna play it fairly. Oh no. no. Compelling sort of sell. Oh. It wasn't about personality or track record. It's a combination of the both. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of them had a win, and the other one was true to name. <laughs> it wasn't about either of those things. It was about all of them. <laughs> Hey, girl, she's from a colony, okay? <laughs> I think the business just doesn't like me. She feels threatened, and she wanted to keep Teresa because she wouldn't be the only one without a badge. Yeah. Shaggy Oh, Scarlet is not over it. Yeah. No, she's mad. She's American. She takes this shit personally. One UK queen, one France, one Philippines, one Canada, and one American. Oh! It's literally the world. Thank God. For those five countries. Yeah. That's it. That's done. She's gonna stick it up her um little jag. I don't have one of those. She's a biological woman, huh? I want that. Because you did good, and you're a good drag queen. Mm -hmm. Which is more than you can say for everyone else in the room. No, everyone else is actually a really good queen. But Marina is better. <laughs> to my ass! Oh, looking like this. Oh, I love her. Oh, I love her. She's very funny. We like comedy queens. I like a comedy queen. We like people on the show that can actually entertain us. Yeah. Sorry, Tia. Oh. What? Did you just have a stroke? <laughs> I think it's just French things, girl. I am ready to be here. I love the red satin suit. Bitch, I'm here at this table, I am present, and I'm ready to deliver the morning news. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? And now over to Marina with the weather. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Marina, the famous comedy queen. Yeah. <laughs> So Scarlett just dominated that entire table conversation yeah. until the very end and said, Marina, you? Any, anything to add? About me, by the way? I can say you're sorry. Oh! me, Scarlett's fighting for screen time right now. I now pronounce you semi-finalist. Hey. Okay, so they're gonna do a top four. Next week's one last week. That was really quick. That was really That was really quick. This is a good season. <laughs> Short and sweet, mm -hmm. just like Marina. <laughs> Short and crusty, just like Anaconda. <laughs> Tall and sweet, just like LeBron Dom. Tall and crusty like Tia Coffee. Coffee. Scarlet? <laughs> <laughs> the spare wheel. She's a spare wheel. She's a spare tire, girl. <laughs> We're doing a mini challenge quick drag. Ah, uh, drag but quick. Drag, but it's done quickly. What happens at a hen's party always stays at the hen's party because you know the bride is absolutely at night in the toilet by the stripper. Oh, I've just told it. Oh my god. <laughs> As someone who has worked at bachelorette party. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, grooms, but also you deserved it for being straight.
<laughs> well, hello. Well, that's a little true. Um, <laughs> say hello to DJ Jazzy Jacob. Hi, Jazzy Hi. Jacob. Hi. Love the pants. But I prefer them not to be there. Does Jazzy finger me or do I finger him? Oh, does DJ stand for d jerking? <laughs> Bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> Girls on tour! Bring on the strippers! DJ They're already there! Guess who's back in the house? He's been clacking about. Five fresh feminine style to eleven in the lines. Heavenly gentlemen's one in a No, no, body like wow! <laughs> yes, dance ladies! Yes, all oh, the oh, ones are gone. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, I believe, is Marina Summer. Yeah, you better sit this one out. <gasps> Bye, girl. Oh, see, Diva. Oh, we're finally playing fair. Tia lost. <laughs> That's a big accusation. <laughs> Get it down, girl. What is LeBron doing? She went down on the floor, got straight back up. Uh, and she went back down again. <laughs> the size of her feet. <laughs> I love that Hannah's just shuffling. Yeah. Someone should probably call SeaWorld. Uh, Shamu's gotten loose. <laughs> <laughs> Marina and Hannah top two again. It's what we deserve. Commotion without motion. And she got the uh, lotion of the motion in your ocean, or whatever the lyrics are. I don't know. DJ, hit it. I'll just do it by itself. You can really see how the ballroom dancing in her family is rubbing off on her. You gotta see her balls? <laughs> <laughs> All across the room. Drag race royalty. Michelle Visage and Graham Norton. Oh. Oh. A wedding! A wedding! We're going, going to have a wedding! Graham started bumping purses. So like vagina, smacking oh, vaginas together? See, I prefer to do bumps from purses, <laughs> but that's fine too, I guess. A good old fashioned roast. Oh. Yeah! I love me a roast. Oh my god, it's like what's in the title of the episode. Roast chicken, <laughs> roast, roast beef, beef, roast pork, roast yeah, children, yeah. I mean uh, vegetables. <laughs> Being in a spit roast. <laughs> Anaconda, as the winner of the mini challenge, I'm making you the wedding planner. Oh! oh. So you decide the roast order. Oh. You are now going to be the Bobby from Queer Eye. You're going to build the set. You're gonna design everyone's costumes, and then just gonna sit there and wait till you're done. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm genuinely so surprised that you have that reference in you. <laughs> so I know gay was, things. That was like I was like I don't know where this information got to you. Who's gonna write before? What? Oh. None of us have done a roast in our season, and I think that's really exciting because none of us know what to expect. Exciting? Uh, terrifying, also. Yes, we don't have a single roaster in here besides. Has Hannah done a roast? Do they have a roast in our season? Don't know. But she's funny, and she can shade a bitch down. That's true, that's all you need. There's more to say than any of these other queens. We are in the same for you. Around the middle. You want to go first? I want to go last. Oh. oh! Normally queens are like the middle, only the middle, thank you so much. Please and wherever, to be honest. I mean, opening would be kind of exciting. I'm opening right now. And a little bit of a little different flavor. Why did the couch just vibrate? I don't want to add any more pressure to what I am currently feeling, so mm -hmm. I think I'm very comfortable with being in the middle. And I would be very comfortable in the middle of La Grand Tom and Tia Coffee. I think I would like to start it off. I think after me, I would like to that. I think I will put Marina in the middle. Thank you. After that, Scarlet, and then closing out the show, Tia. Slay! Sound okay? Cool. Okay, Hannah making everyone happy. Come on, team player. Come on, this congeniality. I'm a little bit scared for La Grand Dame. Not gonna lie. Going straight after Hannah Conda. Oh, I got the riot! Alright! Oh, I love her so much. Oh, she's Thank so funny. Hannah Conda, I've come in full drag. No, I don't know this person. 
Who this person? She's a Canadian born UK comedian. Uh -huh. And she is joining really she's very dry. Right. I'm not sure if this is for a false drag race anymore or one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Make sure your punchlines are, are strong and sometimes less is more. Yeah. You can say something with fewer words yeah. and like really punchy, then go for that. Yeah, because I do find myself to be a bit of a talker. All my stories kind of Waffle for me. Really? Australians yeah. taking up space by speaking too much all the time. We definitely didn't make an entire career on YouTube by doing that. This is the place to be. We really didn't. No, we really didn't. This is not a career. <laughs> that was not a joke. That was not a joke. Yeah, just a fact. Ah, oh, French person. Here's French that I know. We oui, oui. <laughs> We don't really have roast. In France, we prefer French to blanch role. everything. Are the French really kind? <laughs> Prince Harry yeah. is considered brave to talk about his frostbitten penis. <laughs> but once again, nobody's there to worry about frozen cunts. How are you, Michelle? <laughs> oh! Just me. I'm not gonna lie, I love it. <laughs> I think it's very funny, but I'm uh, sorry. Eat. Change it to twat. How do you yeah. spell that? T W? A yeah, learn it. Ah. Come on, English lessons. This is your day look? Wow. Well, I love how Catherine was like, I came in full drag, Marina looks more in drag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the guest judges who help the girls out are always like, Marina, you look so beautiful. It's really difficult. As for the challenge of hand though. Michelle and Graham's wedding is a testament that if you grow old, and you can't find a partner, just marry one of your closest friends who's rich, successful, and hot. And they both failed. <laughs> yes. yes! Come on, girl. Okay, you said Marina's not the comedy queen in the room. She's still not the comedy queen in the room, but but she's not unfunny. Like she still can say a joke. Yeah. You know what? Pops to your mama. Mama, kudos for spilling, girl. <laughs> Thank you, tea. Thank you, tea. <laughs> no, I prefer coffee, actually. <laughs> I prefer a tea and coffee when home. <laughs> Don't put that in, that's a joke. Stop typing! Stop typing! Graham Norton has been on the telly so long that when he started, it was actually just live theater in Greece. Wait, that's not on telly. I'm going uh -huh. to like belly last, you know what I mean? And congratulations to all of us for making it to the hardest challenge of the season, finding something nice to say about RuPaul. Uh. Oop. We'll cross that one out. You better make sure you're Wait, is RuPaul involved in the uh, roast too? Well, I mean, RuPaul's gonna be there. It's a roast. You can roast whoever's in the room. Fair enough. If I can make eye contact with you, mm -hmm. you're on the bulletin, bitch. My humor's just like mostly like stupid dad, dad jokes. We know. Mm. That's what we love about you. Mostly, actually. Well, you may have heard. It's the only thing. For all the grand coffee fans out there, I have to let you know that the relationship has ended. I told her she drew her eyebrows on too high. And she looked surprised. Let me. Huh. Okay. They don't you know, a bit too much. The room has had a happy ending. Yeah, oh, in yeah. the toilets. Okay. About ten minutes. Ago. <laughs> Lean into these because you love them. True. Authenticity True. is the only way to win any game. Unless it's a look-alike contest, in which case, no. <laughs> I'm ready to toast and roast tomorrow. Honestly, I'd love to see Tia come in with just a bunch of dad jokes. I know she is. She'll be a bunch of puns back to back, like the reading challenge. Yeah. Which she won. Which scares me that she's going to get her fourth challenge win. Fourth? Fourth. Tia doesn't have three wins. Yes, she does. Does Tia have three wins? Before anyone else did. Does Tia Gobby have three wins? She does. <laughs> I should really be paying more attention. <laughs> Never actually made it this far on Drag Race before. Oh. Has anyone else experienced a finale before? The rest of the room, right? Except for Tia. There's 50k on the line as a finalist on my season if you stop watching <laughs> episode 6. <laughs> well, I finished first on my season. First runner up. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. What did Hannah that, come on her season? Uh, placement again. When did Hannah come? That's what I've been asking. In the toilets, ten minutes ago. <laughs> Hannah was in top three. To top three. I felt there was a lot of people who didn't really understand who I am as a person, and that was really hard for me. To be honest, I didn't really enjoy the experience because I was just so scared about how people would um, perceive me. I'd go to meet groups and stuff, but people paid to meet everybody, but they'd walk past me. Oh, what? But, you know, now I've been more me than I have in a very long time. I've been able to showcase me again and more authentically me. It just gives life more 
excitement and meaning and it just makes life worth living. Who right. can walk All past Hanaconda? Yeah, I don't like know. Hard. She had the and second most wins on her season. Yeah. 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 And she's also okay. extremely yeah. funny. Yeah. And like personable yeah. and kind. Yeah. And sweet like, and gorgeous. And just a like, bubble of energy. Back to Australia, but like my old self. Um, so that's really nice and... Come on. I, I love like, you, girl. Yeah. I just got Thank believe. you. Look at her. Like, you you love. Love. Oh, my love. Oh, thank you. Thank you. She's spilling her tea. <laughs> thank you, Mama. For spilling. Thanks for spilling. It's all humor. It's all humor. Oh, humor, Kim. Are you using humor? <laughs> we don't say that down here, Hannah. Yes, we do. Humor. Humor. I've never heard that. It's a Kath and Kim reference. Oh. Call yourself Australian. No, I never did. What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> You know what? You know what it is? It's it's giving the eccentric drunk art. It's giving me she's trapped in the clam in the fishnet. <laughs> Somebody get the fly swatter! Swallow in her hole! That's a mollusk! <laughs> That makes one of them. Our extra special wedding guest, Catherine Ryan. Oh, look yeah. at her. Or with the group? Both. Uh, been with both. Two very different lovers, so equally generous. <laughs> Oh, cause rude! Cause rude. <sighs> I will say, I love her hair. This week we the and that's what it's We are gathered here to celebrate the union of Michelle Zod and Brad Norton. Where's Alan Carr when you need him? Why don't we get the other one? <laughs> you are such a bitch! Oh my god! <laughs> I'll take it. Seven and a half inches of it. Oh, why is she got a trumpet? Okay. <laughs> why look round and go, woo? Because <laughs> she's French. This is a French thing. And as a wise woman once said, it takes two to make a thing go right. But um, that doesn't apply in this situation because it's all kinds of wrong to be real. <laughs> <laughs> God, she looks so Brand good. Liza <laughs> Minnelli, Judy Garland, they went into what we call lavender weddings. You know, they are marrying the <laughs> You taking Michelle as your awful wedded wife. It's actually lovely for RuPaul and her back because it's relieving the pressure of having to carry around Michelle on her coattails for all these years. I do get to introduce the illustrious group of guests you have. Up first, the Grand Dame. Dada is so inaudible that I've had more intense conversations with farts from my own asshole. <laughs> It's gonna be wet and it's gonna be tight. Yeah. And that's just undoing Michelle's corset. But when it comes to Michelle's corset, you just slam it in, baby. Because that thing has been filled more times than mine and Catherine's lips put together. <laughs> oh my god! Bitch! We are laughing at her joke. And the best part is, Hannah is laughing at her own. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> She looks like, uh, she looks Liza like... Liza Minnelli at 60. Yeah, pretty accurate. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with it. We're going with it. I'm gonna pass him over to the sperm that her mother should have swallowed. Please give it up. Yay! Dada! Come on, tall French one. Oh, she's tall. <laughs> Sickening grey hair. Nice boobs. Great bottom. Well, the boobs are there in more. All adjectives. We can use to describe Graham Norton. <laughs> Graham Norton, you are the torn pair. Talking about that, Prince Harry is considered great for talking about his frost beating penis. When I spray my ankles, I just stick them onto Michelle. That's what I do. What? So what? 
Ich stehe hier auch so. RuPaul, you are the barely living proof. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that got me. You might only get recognition for it once you're dead. The good news is that it should happen pretty soon by now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Aging jokes again, you've heard them all. So, Anna, aging is what is going to happen to you no matter how many guidance you put in your face. And, Marina, a joke is something you say that makes people laugh. <laughs> Oh, Silence. No. Silence. Catherine, Silence. I was about to, to forget about you. I had to oh. go on Wikipedia. She savage. What I found was interesting. I'm, I'm gonna read it out loud. Page not found. <laughs> <laughs> this competition has been all about lifting up one another. Mm -hmm. Which is why Anna still don't have a badge. We couldn't lift the beach up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one was good. That was about it. Good evening, everybody. There are oh, there were high highs and low valleys, and I'm not even talking about her frozen. I'm just saying medium peaks and uh, below ocean level valleys. <laughs> <laughs> talking about below ocean, Mariana Trench to the table. Come on, Mariana, so <laughs> Marina Summers from the Philippines. Mabuhay, mabuhay. Mabuhay. Mabuhay in Filipino means long live. And clearly someone in this room already had too many mabuhay. Oh. 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 <laughs> but we're not here to talk about RuPaul. <laughs> we are here to talk about the two other old hacks in the room, Michelle and Graham. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Mabuhay, girl. If you grow old and you can't find a person to love, just marry one of your closest friends who's rich, successful, and extremely hot. And they both failed. Oh. <laughs> and speaking of failure, let's give it up for the lovely guest. <laughs> speaking of failure. <laughs> Lagrande is here because she's pretty and white. <laughs> and is here because she's just white. <laughs> and there's three food in the lobby. <laughs> and in truth, just like her name, it's a rare species of snake after swallowing a double decker bus. <laughs> 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 Listen here! I, I have all the time in that shit. To our extra special guest judge, whoever she may be, and to my favorite singer from America, Beyonce. <laughs> you oh, better work, Marina. She kind of killed that. I so far, she's in the top of my eyes. These toasts, Michelle Visage has never been happier to be gluten free, honey. Oh. You're right. Oh, what are you allergic to the sun? Would it kill you to go outside? Girl, she gets a sunburn just opening the refrigerator. <laughs> uh, why is she delivering uh, her lines is like this? Well, why is she so delivering lines? <laughs> why is she snorting them instead? Do it better. Girl, Tia is so stupid that when, Ru Ru when RuPaul said, speak now or forever hold your peace, under the table she just grabbed her dick. <laughs> Piss. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hold her Marina peace. Summers is here. Now, Marina and I ah. have a thing or two about her. But luckily, we finally had a joke about Tia. Maybe. And an joke. Question. Oh. 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 I don't thought LeGrand Dom was bad. <laughs> Graham Norton has been in the business so long. Uh -huh. How long? Is this sad? People actually had to get up to turn his show off. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh God. Is that meant to be a joke? And what was the joke? I think it is. You know, the only thing that and that's the saddest part. Is that they, they were, were both paid to marry Michelle Vassar. Ah, uh, a joke! A joke! We have one, thank you! Got you. <laughs> one out of ten ain't bad, honey. Elvis said, that's pretty damn awful. Help. But when the face pulled that tight, bitch, ain't nothing falling, okay? <laughs> Uh -huh. Why is she delivering her lines like she's accosting everyone? I'm having fun up here, girl. This is fun. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun because no one else is. Everyone else is feeling very awkward. Cheers to Michelle. Thank you. I need a drink. This is why I don't go to weddings. Mm. And that takes us to the 
Thank you. And to tea and coffee now. Uh, you should also oh. stop doing comedy. Why was that the longest set as well? I think they're making a point of it. Thank you for that fantastic introduction. <laughs> we are gathered here today to celebrate the joining of this man and Graham Norton in glory holy <laughs> matrimony. Glory holy. <laughs> Graham, Eurovision. Sorry, I misread that. Graham, you host Eurovision. <laughs> Michel Visage, a French name that roughly translates to Michael Face. <laughs> and Graham, who identifies emotionally with potatoes. Not because you're Irish, but because much like a potato, you go with anything, which explains your marriage to Michel. <laughs> uh, really remind me of my mother. She's dead. The five of us on stage are the world's worst Spice Girls tribute act. I can't take scary spice because I'm famously excellent at a Mel B impression. <laughs> Scarlett, you can be gin and tonic spice. <laughs> Le Grand Jam, you can be posh because you're French. <laughs> Marina, you can be baby because you're roughly the size of an eight month old child. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, this is the first and last time anyone will say this to you. You're sporty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The tea is killing this. The Grand Jam's journey in this competition is very much like my favourite French city. Why? Because she's going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> She has three badges in this competition. Scarlet, that's this many badges. <laughs> the American education Scarlet. system failing her, girl. Marina really reminds me of life. Life is short. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when it might end. I'm tea and coffee, and when I go, I hope it's instant. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I hate you! But yes, but no! I never explained why I brought a trumpet with me. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> no, 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 you left with my couch now, bye! Holy shit. Oh, that was Whoa. immaculately delivered. And all of the criticism I passed on Tia beforehand You're wrong. is still valid. But <laughs> this time she turned it out. Michelle and Graham. Brother and sister. Oh. So why are we stopping the wedding? Keep it in the family, that's what they say. Lovely suit. <laughs> <laughs> Before the next show starts, let's enjoy an intermission. Hannah and Tia to Yeah. And, and then Marina's safe, I would say. And Unless the Scarlet. UK producers are like, this is an opportunity to put Marina in the bottom. If they did, bitch. Rampage. There's only one girl who can outlet sync all these bitches. And now's a perfect opportunity to send her home. They're not going to send her home. Tear Coffee uh -huh. was so funny. How funny was she? No. <laughs> um. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> that was just brilliant. She lent straight into her humour and it worked for her because she's gangly. Um, <laughs> and is that a read? I don't know, that might be. It is, but also it has nothing to do with her humour. Well, <laughs> she looks funny. Does that count? <laughs> Stop <laughs> typing right now. Sorry, I am all for Tia winning this one. This is Tia's episode. This is Tia's episode. This like, is her showing. As much as I have criticized some of her placements before, we love all the queens. When we shade them down, it doesn't mean nothing because at the end of the day, they all have value in what they do best. Mm. And Tia did what she did best and the only thing she does. Um, Good. For the most part. But <laughs> she did it well. <laughs> She did it well. Great soup, eh? <laughs> Great soup. <laughs> ah! Hannah's volleying with the girls was really good. Yeah. Like when... <laughs> vroom vroom! She effectively... She's come back as Liza Minnelli post haste from the Snatch game on, on Down Under. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, she definitely dipped into that pool. Wow! She wore the wig, she put on that outfit, she said, today's the day. Today's the day. <laughs> I was like, I've done Liza Minnelli before and damn well I'll do it again. Today's the day the teddy bear goes to the wedding, bitch. <laughs> Marina the toy soldier. I mean, she's killing the competition. That's true! Ah! I, I hate that. <laughs> we are not pro-military in this, in this show. I'd join the military. I'd just be a barracks support. 
in the bathrooms. Yeah, exactly. It, Come guzzler. Yeah. <laughs> That was my nickname. <laughs> that was my nickname in college. I didn't go to college. That was my nickname on the streets. I never left my house. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This is so weird. I didn't do it. I figured because nothing happened. <laughs> Isn't that pretty weird? Because usually when I do anything else, it's so exciting. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a Le Grand Dame and Scarlet Bottom too, right? And there's only one choice to go home. There's only one choice. Unless you're being shady. Which tea or coffee won't be. She's not going to sell the run, Dom. She's going to send home her dick. No! <laughs> She's already tucked one. She's access to the other. <laughs> Girl. One dick tucks, the other one opens. <laughs> oh, whatever That's they're what saying. They say, That's right? what they're saying. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Runway, my dears. My dress is very right. classy. Bridal. Oh! oh yeah. Bridal runway? It's a bridal runway. Oh, and she oh, looks beautiful. Oh, I this love is it. gorgeous. Is there a shoe in her wig? What is that? Is that a top hat? I like is her to put a shoe on my face, though. Oh, stomp on me, mother. Oh, it is a it's top a hat. It's a top hat. Oh, she's so fucking cute. I love all the bedazzle. I love that all of these. Wait, is that the fabric itself or are they em embellishments? Here comes the bride. I need to see the dress, show. Oh, uh, for Vegemite and Foster. Who's Foster? Foster's a beard. Foster, I hardly know her. <laughs> oh, 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 what? Come on, Lemon Meringue. Wow. Oh, this is very romantic insane. Too. This does not the scream bridal runway to me. I don't know, but she looks beautiful. Uh, Ruffles for years, for days, for centuries, minutes, months. Yeah. But she looks like an amoeba no done grown and evolved in the Canary Islands. Because <laughs> it's yellow. <laughs> I got it, I got it. And she's really tall. Yeah. <laughs> she looks great, that was yeah. fantastic. <gasps> oh, okay, come on girl. Oh my god, the makeup. The makeup. One of the many tribes. And the rest of it. Because it's just so sacred to be able to win. She looks beautiful. That is actually beautiful. Oh, she RuPaul agrees. Stunning. And do you agree that she's gonna win this season, RuPaul? I need to hear that now. Look at that. I love the headpiece. I love the hair. The dress. I love how PC the dress is. It's beautiful. But none of it clashes. No. Oh. Oh, Vegas wedding. Americans doing American. I mean, hey, we just did a Filipina queen doing Philippines. So. Yeah, but this is. I do. This, this is this is tacky. <laughs> Tasteless. I will say, I judging it for what it's meant to be, yeah. the bodysuit is great. It is gorgeous. The hair is beautiful. Yes. It's lined. Uh -huh. We love lining. The gold. Mm -hmm. She looks gorgeous. She did it. She looks fantastic. She turned it out. Uh -huh. Oh, she's. Oh! <laughs> she is oh! Come on, late stage abortion. Damn, Lagran got her pregnant really quick. <laughs> but she's been swallowing. Is that how it happens? She, they are aliens. Maybe it's different up north. Yeah. <laughs> How's the weather up there? I'm sorry, but this is beautiful. This is one of my favorite tea looks of all time. It's it's almost like the angelic version of the um, Dragula alien runway. Oh yeah. It's like the angel version. Pay homage to Victoria Elizabeth Black. Victoria from Elizabeth Black. Yeah. Season two, Dragula. Go educate yourselves right now. Your game will change. Yeah, learn it. I think T's got my favorite look as well. Oh, what, what a stunning runway. This is, look at this package though. Oh. Look at the package. They all look so good. And Hannah's there as well. Oh, Hannah Hannah was fantastic, you bitch. Does. Shut up. <laughs> I would visit her in a meet and greet. I'd visit her in prison. Yeah. <laughs> Minnelli. I love that you opened by dabbing the napkin at your mouth as though you'd filleted a groomsman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not traditional Hannah. This is traditional bride with a little knot of Hannah. She looks gorgeous. I love seeing Hannah in this light. And I'm so proud of it. Australian drag. We do something down here, right? Snaps for Hannah. And I say we as if I'm collectively claiming everything that Hannah does because we're not doing anything here, bitch. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> 
and then you rally yourself back. And yeah, you we really don't get to do that in France. It doesn't translate, it would sound really mean very fast. Let's face it, in France, a rose is just everyday life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every day when you're walking down the street, yeah. everybody that you meet has an individual point of view, or however Arthur says it. And you end up in a spit rush. That happens. Every time I walk down the street, can't help it. I have been to small town Canadian art gallery. so beautiful. It's done everywhere as well. At least you didn't swallow. Otherwise, get you pregnant. Look at Tia. Marina Summer. Yes, honey. No. Now, Marina spits. I can tell. It's kind of all over her face. face. <laughs> when things didn't land, you knew we would laugh. Are you doing your little... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so Is that now? Yeah, see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the other queens glanced at their nose, and that's fine, but you were completely off book mm. in your second language. Yeah, yeah. Really, really impressive. Beyond beautiful. And you sell oh, garments. God. I think this is my favorite runway. Oh, um, I get it. I do. Oh, I get it. What is this outfit called? Uh, this is a traditional bridal garment from a tribe called the Yakan tribe. These textiles are actually hand woven by the women of the Yakan tribe. Oh, they were very enough to. Thank you. Thank beautiful. Uh, hand woven. Uh, God. The the what can't the, the Filipinos do? You powered through it. You knew it. You kind of acknowledged Quickly. it. Quickly. <laughs> Between your delivery and the material, mm. Mm. almost overselling the jokes. So if you yeah. Trust it, you indicate, like you know, when someone mentions your belt, we will say, "You mean this belt?" Yeah. Right. It's what we're saying about how she was cutting off RuPaul in a previous episode when RuPaul's trying to talk to her, being like, "Are you the drama? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama." And it's like she's hamming it up, but she's not letting anyone else breathe with her. Here's the joke, guys. This is. This is the joke, laughing! Yeah. Which maybe uh, would work with Americans the because they're dumb as dog shit. <laughs> um, it's a joke, stop <laughs> typing. But is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I'll let you decide that yourself if you laugh or not. Yeah. <laughs> this outfit is just exquisite. I love it so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ruth. It yes. is a beautiful outfit. Out of all the Elvis remasters on the runway, I think this is my favorite. You were gonna have it because it brought you to the side of the world. The pearl eyebrow and then the crystal eyebrow? You know yourself now. We're being tea and coffee and it was, you know, intentional and well written. You know, that's impressive. Michael face. It makes me so happy. I mean, on your season, you would have done this, but that would have been a cabin patch doll in a Tesco bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's true! The baby is yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we're on Dom, and that she did. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've made some decisions. God, oh God, oh God. But especially in the competition. You're not in the top. I told you! No! I told you! No! Two coffee. Have a kind of congratulations. You are the top two. Yes! Yes to that! But I said, what did I say? I said, oh. they're gonna, the producers are gonna take the opportunity to put the only other front runner who's never been in the bottom. In the bottom. There is potential that Marina might go home because the girls no, know to eliminate the no. girl who's the best performer for the lip sync extravaganza. Absolutely not. I don't believe it, I don't subscribe. I swear to God, if Pangina Heels happens again on this stage, UK versus the world is done for. I'm, I'm it's quitting. Ended. If Marina goes home this episode, I shit you not. I will not watch another episode. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to be happy for the queen that wins when it should have been Marina. Girl, you could have stopped there. You you never sit there and be happy. Point blank. Period. <laughs> okay. Well, some of us have mental illness. Okay. Do I not look like the poster child of that? <laughs> Except no one would hate me on a poster, to be honest. I put you on a poster. Sorry, a wanted sign. <laughs> Still a poster, and I'll take what's given to me. I may not got the all the last, but I. You got all the badges. I do not feel like I deserve to be in the bottom. What? Um, you are the one who most deserves to be in the bottom. 
Yeah. You didn't hear the silence? The crickets. Mm. The lack of noise. <laughs> there will be a job on offer uh, at the... <laughs> what if it would be a Kanubial corporation? <laughs> what does that mean? What is Kanubial? <laughs> Someone comment and let us know what that means, because I'm not going to Google it. I'm going to embrace the term now. I am a Kanubist. <laughs> I'm gonna be canoodist. Yeah. <laughs> Under here, bitch, you don't know what's going on. Uh, thank God. Is it a track record? Is it who potentially might have done the worst in this last challenge? Or is it at the last minute taking out the biggest composition? Well, the first two is Scully. I mean, Blue did it to Pangina and she won the whole thing. And she won. <gasps> that would be a no, you, know, you shut your mouth. Scarlet! You got home right now. You Damn it! self eliminate. Thank you. Just gives me the opportunity now to just get rid of you. I know. Ah! If I get rid of her, I know that it's a, it's almost a clear path to 50,000 pounds. I'm so scared. And uh, I will help you back to bags. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel good about this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> like, a little bit like, ah, this is really funny. <laughs> Marina on the inside is like, <laughs> I don't think Hannah's going to pick Marina. No, she would not openly say that to Marina if she was going to pick Marina. Yeah, and Marina There's likes no good way. vibes. She's already tried to send Scarlett home once. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Marina? You mean Hannah? Hannah. No, no. Hannah would vote Scarlett again. Mm -hmm. Two for two, baby. Now, not only is she in the bottom for doing poorly and being a bad person, She's in the bottom for doing poorly being a bad person, but more so than anyone else. So... I'm just trying to rationalise why she's a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's words, not mine. Okay. Pro is, I think I can beat her in a lip sync, so that's good. Do you want to beat the best, or do you want to beat Scarlett? <laughs> it's a joke! Stop typing! I want to go home. Not now. No, please no. I worked so hard just to get here and I have everything into my craft. Somewhere across the world, a brown queer person is watching two people of color doing well in competition. That's yeah. true, Marina's the only other person of yeah. color in this competition I can other feel than her Tia. And her fight. True! So I don't know what to do. And there's no point sending home your strongest, strongest competition. Because if they're your strongest competition, beat them the fair way. Beat them by out-talenting them. And I know that that won't happen. Because it's Tia and Marina. But! At least try! I feel Tia making this finale. I don't feel her winning the competition. Why are they giving Monster High? <laughs> Do the mash. The monster mash. mash. Now, Hannah, mash is uh, not a kind of food. <laughs> well, it is. It is actually. Yeah. I could take out the biggest competition. I could do it. Oh, would I do it? That's a Game of Thrones shit right there. Oh, not this again. Don't bring Angela. We don't this. ever. <laughs> <laughs> I never need oh to hear about the Oh my God! It's Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> <laughs> Lessons were at eight. I don't know what a beanstalk does. <laughs> Wait. Come on, Hannah. Come on, Hannah. Oh, luck of the Irish. She's so Hannah. Tia's doing too much. Tia's doing a lot. Oh, I think all the things she's pulling out are oh, like all the all the past. Yeah, girls who've been eliminated. Luck of the Irish John Boos, Trace of Panty. Yeah. Now, it, it doesn't work, but I guess thanks for doing it, Tia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Hannah! Oh, she looks so beautiful. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Hannah's done it! She doesn't 
spin, I'll be mad. You better spin. Come on, girl. She can't do it. She can't do it. Try yeah! Oh, oh, oh no! She did. One eight. Yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I love things that move around and catch my attention and keep me riveted. Hannah's like this, and Tia's like this. <laughs> Jack of the Beanstalk, bitch. Woo! This ain't how I remember that. Come on, Hannah. Come on, Hannah. Okay. Hannah. Come on, Hannah. 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 I'm looking at you, RuPaul. Hannah, Hannah. Congratulations. Yeah! I love how we pause for emphasis there as if she's about to be like, Hannah Conda, sashay away. <laughs> This is the first down under queen to win something on an international stage! Yes, bitch! Oh! As we deserve. As Hannah deserves! Uh, we, we are included we. in Hannah's drag. I am Hannah Condo. Yeah. I am so okay. proud of her. And you've made it through to next week's lip sync smackdown for the crowd. Well done, Did you just hit the one. So now that Hannah's won, I don't think Marina's going home. I think she's gonna choose Scarlet again. But oh, Marina looks so good! Come on! Oh. I mean, the other two do as well. To get the chop. I don't want to be a dream crusher, but one has to go, and tonight I have chosen. Oh, shit. Scarlet. You deserve it, bitch! Hey, 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 hey. You deserve it, bitch! <laughs> it's a chart. Also a fact. <laughs> you will always be the drama. Except she wasn't this season. She really at all. wasn't. I've done this a few times, I know how it goes. UK versus the world wants me. And the feeling is mutual. Except they don't, because they sent you home. I was this close to wearing my Scarlet two-piece with the feeling is mutual on it today. I was this close. You should have! I got the sweater just over there, bitch. I'm not gonna lie, I love me some Scarlet. Yeah, but she, she killed this season, not this episode. Tea coffee, please step forward. We're getting surprise eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. No. Final four. No. Congratulations. Now, I want to hear from you. Our she viewers, looks like an oyster. Queen of the mother tucking world. Are you team Hanaconda? Yes. Yes. Team Le Grand Dame. Yes. Are you team Marina Summer? Yes! <laughs> Woo! Woo! You know what? Are you team Pia Coffee? Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Say yes. Tune in yes. for the grand finale of RuPaul's Drag Race Today versus the world. Have to do with the UK? I don't really know. What does the fox say? Ring ding 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 ding. To 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 the moon the moon. To the moon the moon. Everyone bring to the moon way. Moon way. Rock moon way. Cat cat cow. First 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 first. Na 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 NASA. Na 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 NASA. Is that what you just said? That's what I said. And I don't take it back! <laughs> oh wow, okay, so straight up, straight up, before we get into anything else. Huge congratulations to Hannah Conda achieving what she did, killing that lip sync, bringing out her ribbons and shit, and looking beautiful doing so. But also huge congrats to Tia Coffee. Oh yes. Because although we have dissed the girl and criticized her throughout the season, this episode was, was hers. hers. She had the best roast. Uh -huh. In my opinion, I was most impressed with her look. Hannah was Beautiful and stunning. Le Grand Dame gave me something that I was like, this makes sense. This is Le Grand Dame. Yeah. But something mm. I would expect. Marina, beautiful, traditional, amazing, incredible as always. Scarlet. Was American. I don't know why she did Elvis, but she did. Something well, she made a reference in her roast. RuPaul, I, there's something about I can't help falling in love with you. Oh, Elvis. So I feel right. like she she knew it was she coming. She tied so it like, together. Yeah. She mm -hmm. was like, hey, I'm going to win this episode. So. Mm. Yeah, makes <laughs> well, sense. Um, the only reason why I wasn't as impressed with Tia's look is that I've seen her in 
a gown with an interesting cut so many times now. Yeah, no, so I many see times. that, I see that. And I appreciate the baby built into it. I thought the concept was incredible, and honestly, mm. the best look that I've seen Tia bring to this runway, and I think out of her and Anaconda, Tia had the better runway. But, Hannah had the better lipstick performance. But I had a better work, girl. Yeah, better work. Oh, wait, in the finale. Next week is the final. Ooh. Yeah, Next bitch. week is the last episode of this season. And what do we do with that information? Well, we start watching uh, Drag Race Philippines, don't we? <laughs> From the start. Episode one, bitch. Episode... They no, have untucked. I was actually thinking of watching the finale first. Okay. <laughs> but... Uh, Honestly, a way to do it. Hey, we know who doesn't win, so... <laughs> she's the only other option, bitch. It means I get to meet every queen on their worst day. Yeah! <laughs> and it was just a fun, wholesome episode, and I like that. 100%. A big kudos to Scarlett. She made yeah. it as far as she did, and she did a fantastic job of this season. I mm -hmm. fully believe she could have been interchanged as the third place, even top two, mm -hmm. a couple of times in this season. But I think that this season has now set up the precedent that if you've already been on All Stars in the US, mm -hmm. do not come back to Versus the World. Yeah. Because you don't have an opportunity. Yeah, ask Mayhem. <clears throat> Did she really come back? I mean, she... <laughs> Was she here? She physically <laughs> showed up. Yeah! <laughs> she booked the flight. Well, someone booked the flight for her at least. And that's about as much work she did. Ooh. Again, it's a joke. It's a joke! <laughs> I do think that this is a very strong top four. Mm -hmm. Legrand's trajectory has been very high towards the start of the season and started filtering down towards the end. I agree. Marina Summers has been consistently slaying every time. Every single week she's showed up and she's killed it. Uh-huh. 100%. Hannah Conda has grown. Oh, yeah! She's, she, she's kind of swapped with Legrand Dom now. Because mm -hmm. Le Legrand, like you said, Hannah did the opposite. The more she's yeah. been in the competition, the more she's picked up momentum. Momentum is the word I would use because she has actually been really good from the start. Mm -hmm. I thought her talent show should have been third place over Scarlet. Agreed. She's been paying her flowers mm -hmm. as we've hoped that she would be. Exactly. So and I'm... Tia Coffee is a funny... Sorry, I burped. But I thought you were like hesitant in saying it. No. She's a fun, funny... She has grown so much since her season. It's just nice to touch base with her again. Yeah, and I relate to that. You know, growing throughout this season. And that's a weight joke. I didn't want to say it, but I'm glad you pointed it out. <laughs> After this episode, I fully believe Tia should be in the finale. She's earned that shit. She's earned that shit. She made it. That mm -hmm. it even if she maybe may not have earned her way to this episode, mm -hmm. she earned her way to that finale through this performance alone. And facts are facts. Facts are facts. Of UK and the rest of the world. I still fully believe it's Marina Summers' crown to lose. Mm -hmm. it's honestly, any of the other three girls are any of the other a good three girls could. It's like Marina is Beyonce and the other three are Destiny's Child and one of them is the one that left. Which one's the one that left? The one that left the group. Which one left this season? Probably Tia. <laughs> Tia is the Michelle. Truthfully. No, no, no. There's another one. Oh, there's another one? That got kicked out of the group. Oh! Did you not know this? I know nothing. We know Girl. that I know nothing. Get edumacated. I wasn't born in the 90s. Except I fully Neither was. was. I mean, you were. I am so excited oh. for the finale. I'm ready. All right. Thank you so much for coming and joining us again today. Please don't forget to tune in next week for the finale. <laughs> oh! <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race UK Best of the World Season 2. And don't forget to check out Season 16 and The Untucked. And uh, whatever future stuff we decide to put on the internet. Go look at it in the future because it's, it's going to be out there somewhere in the universe. Yeah, and also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell, and bring some drinks with you next week. It is the finale, so we're going to be popping off, we're going to be having a great time, we're going to be looking beautiful, we're getting dolled up and dashing, so feel free to do it yourself, even if you're the only one that... You can see yourself in that moment. I think the world should see all of you all the time. And I think you should actually take yourself out to the world more often, all of you out there. And I think you should treat yourself with more respect. And just like look at the mirror and like grace yourself with some love. Um, I know it's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> I'm the Sheila Be Right. And I'm the Fortunately Dead. Come join us for a little party and have a little tea party. I'm bringing tea and scones and vodka. Up to the party we go! Everyone, <laughs> bring the drink!